Let's Play series. Now there's a term I haven't heard in a long time. But for real, what's happening, everybody? Cowboy here. Time to break up that summer drought, the lack of games, with uh, something a little bit shorter, but should be fun. We're going to be playing Get Even. So Bandai Namco put this out uh, towards the end of last week. I know very little about it. My understanding is basically it's like a girl you know was taken hostage, a uh, bomb was strapped to her chest, and you're kind of an investigative guy trying to find out why she was murdered. So, uh, what are the difficulty options? Gentle and traumatizing. Okay, that's, that's nice. Those are two very drastic extremes. This should be good. Here, here, and finally here. Doing like a psychiatric thing. Obligated to make clear that all those set to read only will be recording, as is our legal right. However, anything you do witness will not be either admissible or provable in a court of law. Hang on. I'm still not sure if this is right. I need a decision now. We're against the clock. Any longer, and we risk cellular breakdown. Okay, I'm ready. What the fuck? Black, stay away from the hand oversight. We have the girl, you cannot save her. Let this run its course. Save the girl. There. Can I crouch? I see a person. Yes, control crouches. Shift sprints. Okay, let's sneak up on that dude. And I'm guessing he's a bad guy. Two and three cycles between your weapons. Got a pistol. And uh, an automatic rifle. And this thing. I saw that dude a second ago. Let's heat the pistol out. Which looks like it has a suppressor on it. Equip your phone. Oh, I'll said enter. Is that enter? Enter equips the phone? Oh, so I was just saying I can use the arrows. I'm guessing I'm going towards there. Towards the light. Seems locked. And that's locked. Uh, Q and E are lean. Green lights on the side of your phone guide you towards nearby evidence. So, suggesting there's Hold, is that backspace? Escape? What is that tab? What's the tab? Find and extract a hostage. Memoir, scanner. What does vision do? Oh, that's neat. Try scanning a broken drone. White frame turn green. I'll click to begin analysis. FDG drone flight controller board. This is military grade. Uh, what else do I got? UV light. Make sure there's no sperm on these walls. Objective. So, I, objective will pull up a map. This will give me infrared so I can, like, see who's around. Memoir. Pick 
photos. Right, that's locked. That's locked, so I guess I'm going upstairs. Probably want, like, no, not scanner. I want to, I think I want vision. the green light. Oh, I'm getting closer to something. This looks like an abandoned warehouse. That's a fresh cigarette. Scan it. Cigarette. Partial fingerprint found. No matches in biometric database. I feel like the sound is super low on this. Like, it's low even for me, so we're gonna... Okay, I guess we're not gonna put that up any louder. Um, whatever, I'll watch the video after the fact. If it sounds really fucking low, I'll just find a way to, to increase it. chair looks suspicious. That's it. Better keep quiet. Who's smiling now? Go to sleep. open up. Analyzing ballistic evidence. Weapon recognized. Semi-automatic pistol. I'm guessing that's where I gotta go, but let's check this other path first. Nope, Locked. okay. That solved the mystery of where we should go. This guy's got some bright ass lights on him. Looks like a really annoying Bluetooth. Just a big ass light on the side of your head. Up a floor. Can't jump. Zero, zero, 001. <clears throat> so that's probably going to get me into a door.
What's up with this music? Pretty sweet. I'm gonna touch down the sensitivity a pinch. Uh, controls probably. Mouse. Yeah, it's probably good right there. Corner guns are fucking cool. How do I pull back out the corner gun? Oh, it's just attached. Oh, and it has my, my camera on it. So is there any reason for me to use this anymore? So I got... I don't think so. I should just use this. Oh, wait, that's the girl. Why is the bomb armed? Where the fuck is Mike? He's probably on his phone. Fucking typical. Find him. All right. Who's that? Take him out. This is like uh Oh, this is like fucking super hot kind of. Stay stay away from me. Shut up. Stay away. I'm here to rescue you. Hey, shh. It's okay. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. Is it armed? What did they say? Oh my god, is it's gonna be zero, 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 You've got to help me! I'm gonna get you out of here. I heard the code. It's Three, two, zero, one. Shit! It's okay. I'm a friend. Friend. Hey, turn up. Turn up. Turn up. You have to be quiet. Quiet. So it's got to be like. They're, they're dude, I'm hooked up to something that's reliving my memories, I guess. To building B. Uh, oh, map. Where's building B at? Wait, do I still have. Uh, I don't have any guns. Womp womp. I'm just gonna follow these X's. Those look like they're uh, places I should go. Or are they just. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Building B. Man, I don't understand the fuck all with what's going on here. Shit. Am I alone in here? No thermal readings in the area. Just me, then. It's like hiding spots, or? No, I guess you just open them up. can go in them. Drugs won't help you. Oh, here we go. For fuck's sake, come on. Alright. 
right. Hmm. So I feel like this room comes into play later, maybe? And this looks like where I would turn on power and whatnot. Fucking hate those things, man. What did I do? Trace them back. I already remember how to get there. Consequences. What kind of consequences? All I did was turn on the power. Why is my heart rate going up? Like, why? Why is the heart rate racing? How much are you responsible for? Them? So I don't think it's supposed to be a scary game, but this is definitely ramping up to be like a psychological thriller. This is me. What's going on? Hello? Anyone there? Upon leaving the military hey! seven years ago, it seems Black lost years of his life to alcohol and occasionally even drugs. <clears throat> In order to fund his lifestyle, he took small-scale security jobs where he began to develop something of reputation. Word spread about his ability and willingness to fight to the situation called for, which ultimately led to work as a contracted killer. Over time, Black left the alcohol behind in favor of the thrill of his new work. Though his contractors pay well, Black seems to use the money only to gauge the importance of the contract and the seriousness of the client. Psych reports suggest Black is a walking contradiction. Unable to kill without feeling, wrought with guilt, yet only able to find purpose in life through killing, no known family or friends. Something's not right. Recognize. Yeah, I remember that was that photo I was looking at. Cigarette, parch. These are the things I was getting clues of. Why was he there? Is that me? Yeah, these are all the things I took pictures of. What the fuck? Ah, Mr. Black. Please, Please, apologies for the theatrics. It's all part of the treatment. Treatment? This will be far more straightforward if you just keep breathing. The gas in the chamber or something? That's it. Good. <laughs> That's it, Mr. Black. Black. Relax. Breathe. You're back with us. Minor confusion is expected. What? Who are you? What the hell is this thing on my head? Hey! Calm, Mr. Black. Black. That's all I ask. Your current confusion is a byproduct of your treatment. All very unfortunate, but I assure you, you are in safe hands. 
If it helps you focus, you may call me... Red. You. You gassed me. There was something before. Another place. That's why you're here, Mr. Black. But now is not the time for questions. Huh. Wait. Wait. A gun. My gun. Consider it security, Mr. Black. A token of trust. How can I trust you when you knock me out and put this thing on my head? To explain, your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. Why were you there? And who was the girl? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please. Proceed. Proceed with what? Hello? Fuck. Visualization headset prototype. Yeah. So it is something that you use to, like, look into your memory, I guess. Analysis complete. Memory unit RR003. Code name Pandora Savant. Looks like the same thing I'm wearing. Notification data. High Street, Bromsgrove, Worcester, not yet determined. Male, red, eyes green, height 6'2, 172. Patient was an English literature teacher at Summerfield High School, but after car accident, he developed a possible killer. Two weeks ago, the patient was injured in a car accident, and when he finally came to, he displayed some curious symptoms. He was unable to recognize family and friends, was unusually calm, almost apathetic. Frequently tried to put different objects in his mouth, e.g. his notebook, empty paper cups. After being diagnosed, the patient was transported to a facility, whereupon we commenced carbamenzapine treatment. Bipolar disorder. Major depressive disorder. Alcohol, hallucinations, pupper, puppet master, worshipper. What the hell? Uh, determined, being found. So this is just, there were a bunch of patients that were here. Oh, what the hell? Five years ago. No, 15. It's 2015 in this game. Hmm. Hey. Hey, friend. Over here. You got out. How did you get out? You can't leave me here. Just hang on. What's going on here? Where are we? Please, you've got to help me. The switch there, it opens this door. You, you have to help me. Samuel. Samuel Charnel, patient, something, something, something. Let me check these patient files, see if I can find something about them. No, that's Leonard Shelby. Just open the door! Get me out before he puts me back in! Walt Kaufman. John Keating. 
I want to see if this guy's like a serial killer. Because there's that whole thing, like, your consequences have actions. Like, what's the... I mean, his sheet might... Like, it seems like he's in a secondary room. Yeah, there's no sheet here. Come nope. back! You have to help me! I don't know who the fuck this guy is, and I don't think Please, I trust him. friend. Just open the door. Is there another way to get to this guy? Well, on my map, he's red. And red is generally bad. So we're going to not open that door. Fuck that dude. Just open the door. Get me out of the door. Oh, the so this is about this place, I guess. Very good, Mr. Black. You must be as efficient as possible. Samson Charnel. That was the I think that was the guy, right? Patient worked as a door-to-door -door salesman, but after suffering a mental breakdown, he became a self-proclaimed cult leader. That's not that bad, but I mean, no. You, you, you! Fuck you, dude. Patients LSD with the instruction I'll discover their inner cells. Previous theory about bodily infections is probably imperfect. I like loot corpses at all. It's not. Okay, I guess we're going downstairs. Although your memory has been affected, your twitch response remains intact. Pure muscle memory. Fascinating. What is this? Place is filled with runaways, criminals, ex-military. Who the fuck am I? And why the fuck am I armed? I understand your curiosity, but there will be time for questions later, Mr. Black. Please, proceed. Lidden must be kept medicated at all times. Severe memory loss making it impossible for him to differentiate fantasy from reality, visual and auditory hallucinations, wandering aimlessly near the Barrent Greenswood Nature Trail. So there's probably some crazy asshole up ahead. First birthday, second birthday, fourth birthday? No, no, never third, never, never. Someone there? Yes. Someone. Someone. Real. Turn on the light. Let Protective me see. glass. They'll probably get let out and come after me in a bit. Always searching. You truly are the diligent detective, Mr. Black. An admirable quality that will come in quite useful as we prepare for our first little trip. The more external stimuli you engage with while wearing the Pandora unit, the more effective your synaptic recall will be. Please continue. This looks like it's going to shut behind me. No, it's not. Hmm. 
Now it did. Alright, well there's a bunch of stuff to look at in this room. Um, we're right around that 30 minute mark, so I think this is a good point to wrap this episode up. Um, <clears throat> so far, don't really have a strong opinion one way or another on the game. It's certainly interesting, and I definitely want to know more about where it goes, so we'll keep at it. But um, Episode-wise, I've heard this game is about 8 hours in length, so I'll probably do um, 1 to 2 episodes a day, just depending on how much time I have to record. So we might have another one later tonight, we might not. not going to make promises. Either way, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is it... Wait, is it good? I don't know. I'm definitely, like, kind of getting into the whole psychological thriller, like, because the setting is something I would expect of, like, you know, your typical spoopy game like Outlast, but it's not a spoopy game, which I kind of enjoy. So, anyway, we will catch you guys next time with more of Get Even.